All right, guys, so Preston just came over and he took over the kids. Xavier is walking around with his blankie. Um, and we're thinking what to do with the kids, but before we go anywhere, I'm going to start on yogurt. And this time I'm going to make pretty small amount and I want to show you how I do it. So if you're interested, then stay tuned. Hello! So first of all, I got this milk, it's 2% milk, and I just fill up this mason jar with it. And I'm going to put it in the microwave and microwave uh, for a couple of minutes. And basically, I need the milk to get to 180 degree Fahrenheit or to the boiling temperature in Celsius. I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to measure the temperature. All right, so right now, the total that milk been in the microwave was about four minutes i did two minutes and then another two minutes and i think it should be good yeah 180 okay so now we need to put it either in um ice bath or just let it cool to about 110 or 115 degrees we needed to make it this hot just to kill all the bacteria that might be in there you know other than the good bacteria so now we're going to cool it down and then we're going to introduce this old yogurt not the old but the previous batch of yogurt we're going to mix it all up we're gonna put it in there and put it in this instant pot if you don't have like a previous batch of yogurt that you made you can use any store-bought uh, yogurt for example originally i used this one it was faye zero percent greek yogurt and just make sure that this is the yogurt that you like because this bacteria that like life active um bacteria whatever lives in there um that's exactly what the yogurt that you're gonna get is gonna be like so and also you can get um something like this it's called yogurt starter like this one i got from amazon and you uh it's like a little tablets and there's instructions in the back and you can make your yogurt out of this as well so i put this milk in the colder water it's not like ice cold but still and i left that thermometer in there and let's just keep measuring the temperature there's a spoon just so i can mix it in case it's uh cooler on the bottom and stuff so still waiting it's about uh, about 15 more degrees to go all right guys so the milk is the appropriate temperature and i have this yogurt from the previous batch so i'm going to put um a few tablespoons or you can actually i'm just going to pour it in this previous batch i'm just gonna mix it up very well get all the good stuff dissolved in the new milk and like i said you can do, uh, you can use whatever yogurt you like, the store-bought one. Just check that in the ingredients it says the live active bacteria or something like that. Just to make sure, I don't know, make sure it has it. So I'm going to mix it up very well. And then you're going to pour it in the milk. And mix it up one more time. Okay, and that is that. I'm going to close the lid. You can leave it open and put it in the instant pot just as is. I'm going to put the lid because I noticed that my instant pot smells like yogurt after that. I think I'm just going to, I'm not going to screw it off, but this little thing I'm going to put on anyway. So, all right, my instant pot is already just plugged in and I put my yogurt in there. You can do all this in instapot itself but i'm just doing it right here uh you can boil milk in instant pot if you press the sate for example uh button you can you know boil milk there and then cool it down there and then you press yogurt and you're gonna make yogurt in there but i like uh to do smaller batches and it kind of makes more sense in the uh, mason jar for me so now that it's properly mixed and everything i'm gonna press yogurt and um, the setting is supposed to be normal and I usually put it for about eight hours. So this is what I'm going to do. And 
I'm going to put the lid on. It has to be not on the vent, but on the closed, basically. And you put the lid on. Here we go. So now uh, the yogurt is going and it's going to um, basically add time. You know, when usually you cook in the Instant Pot, it goes backwards. But this one is actually the time goes forward. And that's it. And it, I, uh, in about eight hours, I'm going to have yogurt. And we'll see if it's not the right thickness. If I want it to be more thick, then I'm going to strain it for the nut bag or through the strainer. Okay, so this is uh, ready to go yogurt. Last night, I pulled it out of the uh, instant pot. It was there for about eight hours. And it was ready at like 11 p.m. at night and stuff. And like I said, it's going to taste just like the one that um, you culture it from. So it tastes just like the Faye one. And I I really like it. And it's much faster than to culture it from the little tablets. Um, so always save like a previous batch of yogurt. And you can mix it up and you can make like a different flavors yogurt. You can make a strawberry one and whatever you want. There are like a bunch of recipes online. So I just wanted to show you how I do this. And it turned out really good. So, so far I'm enjoying it. It's super easy.